is faster than your average motor. And you've got the operation of the oops, the table, that's your rapids. Rapids have probably got them set a little bit fast. I like to keep them a bit slower. The speed I like to keep those around. For oper normal operation, around 850. That way you don't lose any steps. Um, if you've been lax on your maintenance, like you know, all in your your slides and all that sort of thing. Um, so that's more of a more the sedate safety area. All goes nice and good, and that's all running off a wireless thing, which I'll send down to you. All good. Um, now I've tuned it. You'll see that in another couple of videos that I'll edit into this. Um, so it's all hunky dory. Cheers. Right, this is just a um, calibration test of the X axis. So I will be heading that way, which is in the negative direction, um, using a 5mm test. So I'll be heading that way 5mm, and I'll be heading that way 5mm to check accuracy and also the backlash compensation back the other way so first test on the x-axis in the negative direction not too bad and now in the positive direction back again let's try it Negative direction. And positive direction. So that's reasonably accurate, I would say. Right, this is just testing the uh, y-axis. Uh, I've just calibrated it. We're going to go in the negative direction, which is that way, and then the positive direction to ch uh, test the backlash. So we're going five millimeters. So we choose y-axis, negative five millimeters. There we go. That's pretty good. And let's go back the other way. Five millimeters. Once again, pretty bang on. Let's do it again. Negative axis. Positive axis. So margin for error on my flexible dial gauge test dial yeah we don't know but you can do that all day long so it's all good